Hi everybody, welcome to Wool and Wine, episode 20. I'm Tammy. I'm Claudia. I'm Janet. And welcome back for our, our existing viewers. And if you are new to us, we're thrilled to have you. Yes, we are. Yeah. And yeah. And <laughs> we are recording in Ohio, in Bellbrook, which is Tammy's house. And Claudia and I are close by in Peewa Creek. Yeah. Yep. Very yeah. close. So we got some happy mail this time. Oh. And we thought we would go ahead and start off talking about that because it's so lovely. Mm-hmm. So one of our viewers reached out to us and asked if she could send us something that she thought we would like. And guess what? We do. Yeah. <laughs> Lean, baby. Yeah. Lots. Lots, Lots of gorgeous of bling. bling. So it's these amazing. I got a little tangle going on because mine are in the box. Mine here, I'll give you a little close up of the stack and then I have actually more but look at you all You might have those. to put your hand behind it Claudia. Oh yeah. Here we go now you can see but there's probably five or six on here and then I have more. Yeah and gorgeous stitch markers yes. Carrie thank you so much. Thank you. Um, thank progress you. keepers them. actually as well. I mean oh, yeah. some keepers. for yes. yeah some for progress keepers some for stitch markers so you'll all be seeing a lot more of these as mm -hmm. we add them to more of our projects. Yeah so. that was so nice of you Carrie. Thank you. She sent us some lovely hand balm so we each have a wow. hand balm wow. to keep our knitting hands nice and soft. Yeah, it's really nice. It's lovely. Do you want to talk about these, Jan? Yes, and Pam Moriarty reached out to me today and, or not today, <laughs> <laughs> last week. And I, I've been losing a lot of stitches. It, it seems like on the last couple podcasts, I keep losing stitches. So she found these beautiful double N um, needle keepers and she got these at a store called String Theory Yarn Company that is in Glen Ellen, Illinois. And how cool are these? Yeah. And so I'm using I'm using mine on one of my projects right now. So we each got one. And yes. yes, we each got mine. Mine is red. Mine is and green. Is green. <laughs> yeah, and I'm using it. I'll show you later. Yeah. So, yes. um, so thank you, thank you, Pam, so oh my much gosh. for those. Pam, so, thank you. So, so sweet. I just she just brought it today, so I haven't used started <laughs> using mine yet. But um, we will have the yarn shop linked in the description notes. Yes, we in, will. In our show notes in the description box below. You just click down there somewhere. <laughs> it's a beautiful store. My sister lives up in Illinois, pretty close to that area. So I'm anxious to go up there and yeah. visit the store. And stop in. Maybe you can and meet, maybe see Pam. up with Pam. Yeah. Yeah. I'd love to. That would yeah. be so awesome. That would be fun. Yes. Yeah. We're yeah. really looking forward to meeting some of you, all of you, we'd love to yeah. meet all of you. Yeah. Um, but we're at, when we're at Rhinebeck this year, uh, we are really hoping that if you're watching and you're there and you recognize mm. us, please yes. say hi. Please come up and say hi. Yeah, we'd love that. Yeah, that would be amazing. Hey, okay. you know what? We forgot something. Yeah, we did. I just yes. saw that. So, cheers, cheers. to all of you. Cheers. <laughs> Mm. Mm, that's some goodness. Mm, that's mm. delicious. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Wow, that'll be good when we get over to the tasting table later. <laughs> yeah, <it> well. Yes. <laughs> so we haven't done a lot yet, but we are a knitting podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so we probably should start with what we're wearing. So, Claudia, do you want to go first? Sure. I am wearing Sunshine Coast by Heidi Kermeyer. And the yarn that I used, I, here's a skein, is the Jadifra Cotton Lana DK. And it's a blend of cotton and it's 50% cotton, 50% wool. 
So here's the, the yarn and um, it's a pretty orange color. <laughs> Almost looks like salmon, but here's my, it has a few round yarn overs up here just to give it some interest. And then on the sides, it has some nice texture. Right, and the raglan is a nice wide raglan. Yeah, the way she yes. did that is really cool. It's very wide, and so that actually just goes down into the side, goes right down into here. So it's just a very, it's a pretty sweater. It's it a, is. It's a nice transitional sweater, I think. Yes, it's so a, beautiful. Yeah. That particular yarn with it being, I don't know if it's just the color or just the definition of the stitches is really beautiful. I made one in an alpaca and it's a dark color and you don't see that definition in the one that I made. Yeah, that's too bad. So, yes. So but. there's, so there, I mean, you could do another one. I know. You could. I'm actually, I plan on it. I think, <laughs> I, yeah. you know, I don't like to do too many things over again, but I am thinking I'm, I might do this over again because I be really it. like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, it's a real classic silhouette too. It's kind of A-line and yeah. it looks like you could wear it with just about anything. It right. looks great with these pants. My green pants. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So I'm curious. I have seen... A lot of wool cotton blends. How do you find that? How how does that feel to you? I mean, it's 50-50. It feels fine. Is it not super warm? Or no. does the wool actually keep you regulated? Good, I mean, Good I've, quest. <laughs> have you worn it in the summertime? Or? I've not worn it in the summer, but definitely spring, fall. Okay, so it's transitional so piece. It's, then. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I might try it in the summer just to see. And you can even make a short sleeve one out of this and yeah. have a real cute summer sweater. Yeah, I'm just wondering because it's so A-line and it looks like it's kind of a, mm, I don't know, what is that, like a 19 stitch gauge or 20, something? 20, I think it's 20, yeah. Well, and the A-line comes from the, there's yarn overs, the yarn overs on yeah. the side. And so that gives you the A-line. And I, I thought if I do another one, I may not want to, do I mean I might still do them but then do a you could do a two, yarn over then knit then two, two together, together or a knit two together yarn over knit two together something like that. because a yarn over or knit two together yarn over is gonna yeah <laughs> I'm not even sure maybe just a yarn over knit two together yeah that's so you're getting your eyelet but you're taking the stitch back away so it would be more, more straight. straight shape yeah 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 Gorgeous. So Thank what are you wearing? So gorgeous. I'm wearing The Weekend or Light by Andrea Mowry. That's very pretty. It is pretty. I love the color. Thank you. And the yarn I used for this is Expression Fiber Arts Twisted Tweed Sport. And the colorway, Deep Forest Fog. And here's the label for that. And, oh, this yarn is just gorgeous. It is. It I, is just, beautiful. I love it. Shandy knows what she's doing. She does. Yeah. <laughs> she makes some absolutely beautiful yarns. And this one is... 43% Superwash Merino, 15% Donegal, and 42% uh, Fine Merino wool. So we've got some Superwash, some not Superwash, right? and then your Donegal. And tweed. that's one, even though there's a high percentage of Superwash in there, we, we spit spliced yeah, that one. Yeah, we did. Because yes. we did, Claudia and I did a test when we were all together knitting, Janet got to the end of the ball and she's like, darn, I can't spit splice this because it's super wash. And we're like, now let's give it a let's shot. Let's give it a go because part <laughs> of it's not and see what happens. And it was as sturdy. Mm -hmm. it, the fibers must be blended together somehow. Mm -hmm. You know, it must. Yes. They might be. I don't even know how they do that. I don't know how you super wash it. I, I don't know how that process works, but mm. it it spit spliced. Yeah, very well. It did. Just as good as any non-superwash. So 
give that a go. Yeah. The pattern's yeah. fun. I have the regular, the, um, the worsted weight. The worsted weight. Right. Yeah. right. The worsted weight weekender. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's and nice. I also use expression fiber arts yarn for that one as well. Did you do worsted? The, not yet. Not no. yet. Okay. <laughs> so I did in cotton and I held a strand of lace weight linen with it. And mine ended up biasing so bad that I can hardly wear it. Hmm. Hmm. It, you know, that line down the front. Right. And then it's got this split hem. If I didn't have a line and a split hem and it twisted, nobody would ever know. Mm -hmm. Right? Because mm -hmm. it fits good up here. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it, my, uh, my stuff is probably two or three inches off. And you use the... Towards the bottom. Mm -hmm. Oh, Zooey, Juniper Moon Farm, Zooey Twist, cotton, 100% cotton, and held, or maybe is it cotton linen blend? Well, I, I can't have Oh, you have some. The Zooey, it's cotton linen. Oh, yep. 60 proof. Well, I'm going to make something out of it. Well, so. but see, I don't think what skewed it was the yarn itself. I think me holding a strand, a lace weight strand of linen with it, I think it had something to do with the way it twisted. Oh. But I'll wear it and show you guys on, it's an exercise on what not to do. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Right. So yeah. did you make modifications so on that? So I don't recall that I did. I made it um, to pattern. This was the 44 inch. And it mm -hmm. just, it was worked out. Beautifully, it yeah. did. So. Yeah, it does look really good. It's it does. like the perfect it's a good size. Good color for you too. Yeah. Oh, thank you. So, okay. Tammy, what are you wearing? Yeah. Right? So I'm wearing the number ten Argyle by Sandy Rossner. And this was a whip last time. It's pretty. Yeah, and I didn't bring the yarn to show, but I used the Newton in the Nina colorway, so it's a navy, kind of a navy gray, I think. Mm -hmm. But I held that together with Lana Grossa um, silk hair in the marine colorway, and it's very navy. And I think that the viewfinder up here is doing a really good job of picking it up and of course you're going well it's called the argyle i don't see any argyle on there <laughs> and, we weren't going to see and you're right <laughs> um i skipped it on this one because i really just wanted a vest and i'm gonna pop in a picture here of several different blouses with this over it on the hanger showing why I made this. Um, I have got, I think I put five on in that photo. This one, I hadn't even thought about it. It was hanging in the laundry room closet with my ironing hmm. and it didn't need ironed. It's just this perfect silky blouse that never needs ironing <laughs> but I think when I snatched it out of the dryer I stuck it on a hanger and was hanging up other things that did need ironing oh. it got in there so I had forgotten it, it's kind of a fairly new top and I had forgotten I even had it but I love it with the vest it so it's really nice yeah I mean it just it makes these silky tops a little more wearable mm -hmm. I mean we've had that's true like upper 70 days lately and now it's back down about 63 and rainy mm -hmm. <laughs> so no yes. we're not a weather podcast <laughs> no. but it's kind of fun for other people all over the world to have an idea of what it's like here yeah. you know we're in southern Ohio, probably an hour away from the Ohio River, which is a big, big weather change location, right? And then I-70, where it cuts across and runs I almost. I-70, definitely. It, that is another huge <clears throat> weather change area. So Great Lakes stuff never really makes it much lower than that. <laughs> <laughs> it's really kind of a funny It's kind break. of funny. All it, it really is, is. is a highway, but... Mm. It's it does real. make a difference. Yeah, yeah it does. Yeah, it does. It's so funny. 
So yeah, this is very inspiring. Yeah, yes. I like you know, that. It's like, wow, so much with just that vest, how it really just changes. Changes, changes it, yeah, keeps it makes you warm, it really. Too. And I used really nice. exactly one plate or wheel or whatever you want to call it of the Newton. It was exactly. And I actually broke into the second one for about 10 yards, but I knit two gauge swatches oh, with the plate to do other things. I was testing it with other yarn before mm -hmm. I started on this. Mm -hmm. So um, I know that if I had not done those gauge swatches, I would have been able to complete this. Mm -hmm. And it is a little bit cropped. My waist of my pants is right about, it's just up underneath. So I could wear this with a shirt tucked in. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, it's right there. Mm -hmm. That would be cute too. But um, I like the tail hanging out too. I think that's a different kind mm -hmm. of a look. So mm -hmm. anyway, and I'm 5'4", but I'm very short-waisted. So yeah. um, I think I usually do 12 inches from the underarm to the bottom. You know what the other thing is? This is cool. My bra doesn't show. Yeah. So if you did this in a summer weight yarn and could get gauge oh, and yeah. followed this exactly, you could wear a little v-neck and just knit it longer and mm -hmm. it would make oh. a beautiful summer top because mm -hmm. the v-neck is just right. I mean, it's not slutty, mm -hmm. you know, and it's not up too high. You'd get a good breeze going. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that might be fun for mm -hmm. a summer just a summer top, but I, I may try that argyle again. Some or, I think you know. that was cute with the argyle. It was, it mm -hmm. was, and I love the colors that beige yeah. with the orange and gold. Of course, you all would have seen that a minute ago, but yeah. So, yeah. do we have any finished objects? Yes. You have a finish. I have a finish. Yay. <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> so this is my first snow by Pia Tran. And I use Silk City Fibers in Cotton Bamboo. It's done. Oh, how pretty. The sleeve. Oh my gosh. In the back. And oh my gosh. Oh wow. This God. yarn, I'll tell you what. Look at the, it's oh, just, the drape, drape on it is amazing. amazing and yeah. it has a sheen to it. Mm -hmm. So it's really pretty. And then I also used Malabrigo Cicero in the colorway um paris night so it's kind of a navy navy gray gray yeah. navy. but i love the colors together oh, I do too. Mm -hmm. oh my gosh mm -hmm. that's fits. gorgeous yeah and your thing about the blocking mm -hmm. totally worked out mm -hmm. so you were a little bit concerned about it being too too gappy too much there. yeah yeah exactly so that's I can't so be happier, pretty. and it's a great color for me. Oh, it is, yeah, green, mm. of course. Oh my gosh, it looks great with those pants. Oh, oh I hadn't even thought about that. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> She's wearing a pair of khaki colored. Yeah, kind of a olivey. Olive green, yeah, yeah. khaki green yeah. color, yeah, yeah. gorgeous. Well, khaki, no. Mm -hmm. I khaki green, but olive drab. It's yes. the olive drab color. Yeah, yeah, it's an olive drab, but. So this yarn, the the body, I liked it. I liked using it. It it's very very slippery, mm -hmm. and it's splitty as all get out. Yeah. But you know what? I just had to decide. Oh, you just have to be careful when I'm knitting, and so I I was careful, and it turned out perfectly. Now that's Silk City fibers. Yes, that what you Silk said? City fibers, and they still have it on Amazon. And it was a cone of a thousand yards for what twenty nine thirty nine dollars something mm. like that, and this colorway is S one five five, but I think they say light green on their page. So yeah, I mean I would recommend the yarn because it's a beautiful it's a beautiful knit, but just be careful because mm -hmm. it is going to be very splitty right. and it's slippery. So back here I did weave my end in, but then. I'm like, I can't, I'm not sure it's not going to pull out. So I split the yarn and then did a, a knot there. But I know well, knots are a no-no, but... <laughs> I think, you know what, in 100% linen, I actually did the same thing. I'm working on one right now that I wove the ends in. And then when I 
but I split mine first because I'm holding oh. it double. Oh, right, right, right. To mm -hmm. get uh, DK-ish weight fingering, uh -huh. probably more fingering because I think it's lace weight, but it's it was eight skinny little strands, uh -huh. and I split them apart, wove one on one row, wove one on the other, and each one I split them again mm -hmm. and tied a little knot. After I did some tugging to mm -hmm. make sure it wasn't, my weaving and mm -hmm. wasn't too tight and I feel confident that my knot's gonna hold so yeah I'm hoping this does but heck you can you know put a little I'll put um, a label, a label right yeah. over top of it and it'll never show right yeah and you did a little modification oh, in the color work. that's right I did <laughs> thank you for reminding me yeah. so you would have seen the the picture and in her picture it's basically the color work is basically an outline and I just decided I wanted to fill in the colors. And I'm really super happy with it because I think it, mm -hmm. I just, I love the way it turned out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this is a slip stitch kind of a, a deal, this little. They look like little stars. They do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's so, gorgeous. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, so I'm, I'm happy with the way it turned out. Good, you'll have to wear that next time. Hopefully by next time it'll be warm <laughs> enough. <laughs> yeah. I will. And we can be back in. <laughs> We, the last time um, when we all wore our Pia Trans short sleeves, or two two episodes ago, I guess, we were chilly. Yeah, it was it was a little chilly sitting here in short sleeves because mm -hmm. I I wore the scrappy striper, I think last episode, and I wore the other one on the one that we did with with Pia on mm -hmm. fit, her yes. fit on. Yeah, but yeah, last week or last time was just a little nippy. Yeah, just mm -hmm. a bit. So, do you have a finish? No, I don't have any finishes today. All, All right. Whips. All right. Well, I have two finishes. So, one I already showed. It's the Corin by Rebecca Klo. And I showed this last time and it was mostly finished. Are we okay on time? Let's make sure. Okay, we are. Um, so I added buttons, but I wanted to show it with the buttons. Hmm. That's so pretty. I think it's gorgeous. And I have... You're going to get so much wear. Yeah, I have got a pair of pants that are almost exactly... Yeah, I can wear it with this blouse. I, it, right. I have got I got a dozen things in my wardrobe that this is going to go really nicely with. And I'm thinking that a like a brown silk camisole underneath of this would that look would really be pretty. pretty. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I could wear it with beige or white jeans. Oh, I think that would be gorgeous. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. there's a lot of options when yeah. you have neutrals like that. This pattern is so well written. I did, <laughs> so I did the size four and um, I want to say it's a 40 something, probably a 44. 44 I bet. I have a well, feeling it's a 44. What, I, what are uh, you, what size did you do? I only did mine at 40 and three fourths. Yeah, you did the size three, but so because that was it's size drop three. shoulder, I wanted right. to do a little mm -hmm. bit bigger and this is super washed so well. <laughs> that probably looks like I'm playing with one of those <laughs> superheroes that stretch. <laughs> but it's, Gumby. It's yeah. a Gumby sweater. Yeah, it's very, very stretchy and awesome and amazing. If you haven't looked at this pattern, go out and look at it. Give it a, a like and favorite it or whatever. But it is, uh, it's amazing. And I, I highly recommend that. So do you have another finish no. okay mm -hmm. i have one more you guys wow <gasps> you've been a busy me. knitter well i was really close i mean that one i really did have it finished except for the buttons so all i did was sew buttons on it since last time mm -hmm. that was you know mm -hmm. an hour of pondering which of the three buttons i wanted to use <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and then 30 yes. minutes of sewing them on. But I have finished the Rift number two by Jared Flood. And I am knitting this for my husband. And it is finally done. And I had him try it on for me today. And it's fabulous. So I'll just show it real quick. Mm. This is it. It is done. Look at the detail in the collar. 
and up the sides. It is just beautiful. If you have a man in your life who you need to knit for, I highly recommend this. So this morning um, I did the collar. None of the ends are woven in yet, but this is done in Brooklyn Tweed Shelter. And here's the yarn. And that is the colorway Storm Cloud. And it is a brown with all kinds of um, little speckles of navy and cream and like a deeper, richer brown. It almost reminds me of tree bark as much as it does um, storm cloud. Mm -hmm. But it's a very earthy mm -hmm. color mm -hmm. either way. It's very nice. So I love, love, love mm -hmm. working with that. Um, the recommendation I have, and I think it's actually in the pattern, is when you sew the arms in it's a bottom-up sweater you have to sew the shoulders together um, and that's um, mattress stitch <laughs> I wanted to call it blanket stitch that's a totally different stitch <laughs> kind of mattress stitch the shoulders <laughs> and then you mattress stitch the um, sleeves in and I used a DK super wash yarn in a brown color but it could be any color honestly because you don't see if you if you mattress stitch correctly, you never ever see the yarn. So mm. anyway, highly recommend. Love it. He loves it. And <laughs> now I, I just need to weave the ends in and block it. And he told me this morning it is the best fitting sweater I've ever made. Aww. I know, right? But it's exactly like Ruth number one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Same yarn. <laughs> I did do that a few years ago. Maybe I'm a better knitter now. Who knows? You know, oh, that's practice, great. Practice, practice. That's very cool. <laughs> right. That's very cool. Yeah. Hey, Claudia, I think you have a whip to show. I have a couple whips, yes. All right. So this is the Grace Notes Pullover by Hohi Locatelli. And the yarn I used is Rowan Island Blend in the colorway Lemon. And I have the body finished. Oh, that is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And oh my gosh, I'll tell you what. This is a beautiful, if you like cables, I would go for this. I mean, it's, it's stunning. And then though it has the cable pattern on the back as well that wraps over the top to the front. So yeah that is beautiful mm -hmm. i can't wait i gotta work on the sleeves but i'm kind of getting summer cast on itis but this will get done <laughs> so are you gonna do um the sleeves that they recommend in the pattern or i don't I think remember it's, it's like a half the three quarters no, sleeve. I, th I might do more of a bracelet, bracelet. length mm -hmm. yeah because it's you know, it's more of a winter. That's house. what I did. Yes, I yeah. did. Honestly, oh, that yarn feels so soft. It is very <laughs> soft. I, I think it's a alpaca and silk. Wow, I that's think. luxurious. It Maybe is. I'm thinking of the Arco Iris. That was another one I made. Yeah, this oh. one is a long sleeve. Yeah, right. I think never mind. I think you're right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm confused. when you when you knit that many things, it's hard to get keep everything straight, yeah. right? And I didn't haven't made any modifications to that. There aren't really any that needed to be done. So nice. Well, it's beautiful. So Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. So what do you have? Okay. Oh, she's got something pretty over there. I have working on the throw over by Andrea Mowry. And I've made some progress on this. So I've got um, the hem put in. So it's just a matter of um, doing the sleeves at this point. That is so pretty. Your color, so. color coordination was great in that. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Yeah, Thank I love blue you. and brown together. It's such a pretty combination. So the, the yarns I used for this is the Ba Ram Yu Winterburn Aran in colorway muck. <laughs> <laughs> and the Yarn Hero Merge Worsted in colorway Celestial. 
And that turned out so well. it's coming along so far just um, everything's to pattern mm. and it'll be a long sleeve just like the picture not just so <laughs> so. there's such a halo on the top part of that so you blocked it right part of it I didn't actually I steam blocked it yes wow. when I did the um, color work I did steam block it so. That is amazing. I mean, it from the side, it just looks like it's a baby bunny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like it does, it has it's not this halo of just soft fluff. Oh, that's so gorgeous! Mm -hmm. Well, I can't wait to see if that's what it looks like when it's only been steamed. Yeah, it's uh, I can't <laughs> wait to see it out of you. Yeah, yeah, giving it a good soak in the tub. <laughs> Way to go, Jan. So, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, so I'm pretty excited about this. It I made the um, 42 inch size, which is like the medium. Uh-huh. So yeah, it's coming nice. along nicely. Hopefully I'll have a, this finished by the next episode. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. Hopefully it's warm then, enough you don't have to wear it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll be anxious to wear it and it'll be too warm. <laughs> you can always wear it down here. We'll have her turn the air conditioning on <laughs> really cold. Yeah, I mean, if I don't do anything down here, it stays pretty, pretty nice and cool. Okay, so I guess is it my turn? Yes. Well, I have my second Corin by Rebecca Klo. And I am actually, God, you guys, this is so good. <laughs> oh my God, look at you. <laughs> Oops, it Oops. is so, so good. It is fluffy. It is. Oh my God. It is very, very fluffy. Ooh. You want to hold the. <laughs> oh, hold the skin. <laughs> oh, wow. Is I this... know, right? Speaking of a bonnie. Yeah. Like, yeah. Bonnie so soft. this is the Knit Picks Capra DK and the blush colorway that they're gushing over wow and it does have about 10 percent um it's merino and 10 percent cashmere and it's non-super wash and i absolutely love it i didn't bring a label down um if i'm wrong well i'll have the content in um in the show notes if i'm wrong about that otherwise we usually don't add the content but um if it's not just merino and cashmere. Okay, so here is the pink version. Hmm, look at that. Uh, so the progress that I've made is to work on the sleeve. I think I had the body done last time. So I talked about when I was doing the sleeves of Rick's mm -hmm. sweater, you guys asked what the stitch markers were and I mentioned that I always, however many stitch markers I need, I get them out and attach them and just keep going mm -hmm. along mm -hmm. so I know when I'm done with my decreases. Um, I actually picked up more stitches. I did 10, 10 more than the pattern called for um, on the sleeves because Rebecca in the pattern says that some people thought that they were a little snug mm -hmm. and that you could always pick up more. So what I'm considering oh. with this one is only doing a couple of decreases and then doing a really rapid mm -hmm. decrease at the cuff mm -hmm. and doing the ribbed cuff. Mm -hmm. So it will sort of be a balloon sleeve. Mm -hmm. um, I think that this yarn can support that mm -hmm. you know you kind like of it. it's very fluffy and I don't think that the pattern will collapse on itself I guess is what I'm saying mm -hmm. it's I think it'll hold its shape nicely mm -hmm. and you know what the pattern is so easy that if I get down there and try it on and hate it I can rip it back mm -hmm. a little ways, you know, probably halfway and do some decreases mm -hmm. and it'll be fine. I love the fitted sleeve on the tan one, mm -hmm. but I just thought to make it a little bit different, that might be kind of fun. Mm -hmm. So um, anyway, love it. Cause mm -hmm. I figure I won't ever wear a coat over it. I'll be wearing this one. I need something more than just a top. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. So there we go. 
but love it. I This is probably my Rebecca Klo episode. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, yes. that's, um, yeah. Well, it's beautiful. It is. That is beautiful. It is. And now I'm a little nervous because there's a needle in my bag and I don't know why. <laughs> uh oh. I hope I'm using the right size needle for the sleeves. I think I am. I'll just have to look. I, I may have forgotten that it was in here and just dug the other ones out. <laughs> Yeah, it's a scary feeling. It is a scary <laughs> feeling. Like, yes. I'm like, uh oh. <laughs> oh no, do I have to rip it back? <laughs> I, I've know. done that before, and I was using the wrong needle. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it it yeah. happens, right? Yeah, I've done um, that. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, I know it's crazy. Yeah, it's it? a rookie mistake, but we all do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> you don't have to be a rookie to make a rookie mistake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, so you have more whips? I do. I have Natasha Hornby, um, <clears throat> Joni Patterns. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's like, <"Bleh." laughs> Anyway, and I use the uh, Queensland Collection Savannah in Colorway Waterfall, uh -oh. which is a perfect name for it. And... <laughs> Okay, sorry, it's all a little bit uh, twisted. But anyway, this is the back. Is it the back shoulder? It's the back, sh well, here's the shoulders. Gosh, I got all these ends. Here's the shoulder. Oh, okay. And here, well, I might as well show you guys instead of doing the wrong side. Yeah, there's the shoulder, and, every, and then you add these rows of... Um, Pearl bumps. Pearl bumps. Yeah, and then I have to go eight and a half inches eight, or something like that because it is, it's not a drop shoulder, so I have to go a little bit longer with this. So it's. Oh, right, because you need your whole, yeah, like just like this, you yeah, need it down. So it's too. like eight and a half inches. So once I get there, then I can start the front. So, and the front has a very pretty lace pattern to it. So, it sure does. That's going to be so gorgeous. Yeah. Yes. I really love the color. Her sample's that white, but Yay. boy, oh boy, that blue. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And I think she used mm -hmm. a fingering where this is not. I think this is closer to a DK. Mm -hmm. And so she had to wear a top underneath it because it was very loose gauge and having a, thick, a heavier gauge. I hope maybe I won't have to wear a top under. Oh, you it. won't under this. Right. There's yeah. no way you'll have to. I just don't know yeah. what the the lace is going to be. How the lace is going to oh, turn out right. in the front. There's right. a little. It's a. It's box. like little clusters. Yeah. yeah. So we'll see how that turns. <laughs> right. Right. That might make a difference. Yeah. Yeah. So yep. I I just cast that on and I said I got to get that going because it's getting towards spring it is. <laughs> or summer yeah. I should say. Yeah. So wow. that's where I am on that one. Yeah. Start from the beginning and when I edit I'll um I'll fix it from there. Sorry. Oh, oh so proud. Oh. And this is the yarn I, I you know, label for you guys. <laughs> Gotta So it's a Queenland Savannah. Yeah, and it's a it's a silk and si silk and linen, mostly silk. Wow, gorgeous! Yeah. That mm -hmm. blue is just oh, gorgeous. Yeah, it's one of my favorite blues. <laughs> Beautiful summery color. It is. Yeah, it really is. So, so do you have more whips? I do. So the next whip I have is called Icy Spring, by Hoi Locatelli. <laughs> So beautiful. I know. I love that yarn. I see she picks some too. beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and since you've last seen this, I have joined the front and the back together, and got the top part done. So here's where the sleeves are, and so I'm just knitting in the round at this point. And I have begun to helical knit. So I'm, I'm knitting with two different 
two different skeins of yarn because this is hand dyed yarn and the yarn I'm using is Madeline Tosh Pashmina and the colorway cherry. That, yeah. And here's the label. I think you can see that okay. So it's a gorgeous, mm -hmm. gorgeous oh. yarn with merino, silk, and cashmere. And since it's a, a hand dyed yarn, I'm definitely That's doing the helical. Gosh, that is so. just. Oh, so soft. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh man, that lace looks really so, beautiful. Yeah, you, ha you didn't Thank have you. that done last time we saw it. That looks really good. It's pretty. Right. It just adds a little bit. Yeah. Of I think the last time I just it. had a little piece. You didn't really know what it was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. So it was now, just a little strip. Yeah. Right. It's kind of like what Claudia's last sweater was. Was like the the mm -hmm. back strip. Yeah. yeah. So making some progress on this. I'm loving it. Yeah, wow. it is. It's gorgeous. Nice. So do you like knitting so, with the yarn? Oh, I do. <laughs> Love it. Wow. It's beautiful. Yeah, nicely done. Yeah. Okay, so... No modifications, right? No modifications. All right, I have a couple. So... I guess there's a lot of hohe stuff going on today too. <laughs> um, my next whip is the staple linen top by Hohe Locatelli. <laughs> and I am using Silk City Fibers. 100% linen in the colorway denim 932 and it's this gorgeous cone it's as, almost as big as my head um, <laughs> I'm holding this double so I only brought one of the cones to show you but I have finished the the front and the back down to the sleeve separation or the sleeve joining I guess is more accurate and I'm about an inch into it I decided even though these ends are kind of wonky to weave in I decided that I wanted to go ahead and break it right at the side since I had woven in all my other ends mm -hmm. and I think they're gonna stay I wanted to put the collar on it and give it a block and see how that was going to work out. So, really I mean, drapey. look at this. Wow. It's mm -hmm. as drapey, you can just see. Mm -hmm. It's just amazing. So I'm holding it double. And if you notice um, on the picture, it's very open down the front. So it's the same situation as the one you're doing. Mm -hmm. I opted just to skip that whole part. And... I don't think she has ribbing. I think she suggests a few rows knitting and then a bind off. And I chose to do a few rows of ribbing and a bind off. And boy, I'll tell you, it just fits over my head. I like this ribbing. So is that yours there? It's one by one. Okay. It looks it's, like there's yarn overs from the side. It looks no, good. No, it's, it's just because of the gauge. Yeah. I love it's a pretty that. open, but it's just so. Yeah. Mm. The drape on that is amazing. Yeah. And I'll tell you mm. what, when you wash linen, if you haven't worked with it before, it's very splitty to knit with, but the result is certainly worth it. It's I have a few other tops that I've done in 100% linen off of cones like that, and they're. I've even done lace mm -hmm. and you really have to pay attention and boy it'll get the best of you if you are not careful <laughs> but um, it's worth it it is absolutely worth it and it blocks out like it's been ironed but mm -hmm. I had socks on last night and when I took this out of the water and squeezed it and rolled it in a towel I had Rick step on the towel for me and 
he was afraid he was going to hurt it. And I'm like, no, I want you to step <laughs> on it. Like getting the, every inch of water, you know, every drop of water makes your life depend on it or something. And he stepped on it and I just laid it on my sweater dryer and smoothed it, just barely smoothed it. I mean, I kind of pulled it into place, um, but not much else. And it that's how it was when I got up this morning. Wow. Yeah, just beautiful. Really, really good. And if you're wondering what the green thing is, these are what people call the barber cords, except we got these on Hobby for a few dollars for a whole bunch of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, literally a few dollars. And somebody else was saying that you can buy this. No, was it you that yeah, got they... it in the craft department? Yeah. It was for stringing beads on or something yeah. in the kids' mm -hmm. craft department. So it comes in all kinds of yeah. places. But mine was more of a soft silicone, and so it was a little sticky when you're pulling it through the... So I don't like it as well as oh. yours. So. But it really sticks on the needles well. Yes, it does. Yeah. Very well. So mm -hmm. anyway, I am having tons of fun with that. So that should be done. And I, I'm working on it because I plan on taking it when we go to... Portugal and Spain. Yeah. Uh, I think that would be nice. Would, yeah, with linen be, pants. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. checked again. So um, in June, early June, uh, Rick and I and Janet and Roger are going to Portugal and Spain where Claudia went last year. I know we've talked about that before, but I keep checking the weather to see. And we, um, we fly into Lisbon and mm. it is already... It was 81 when I checked yesterday afternoon. Oh, my goodness. And it's still two more weeks before mm -hmm. we get there. So summer, I mean, it may not change once spring, summer is there. It might be coastal, you know, temperatures might be about the same, I'm hoping. Mm -hmm. I really don't want it to be more than 81. No, me <laughs> neither. <laughs> I have a lot of linen, and I intend to wear it and... <laughs> hope for a breeze <laughs> yeah definitely <laughs> but yeah so that should be done and I'll be able to show that next time as a finished object nice so what you got there girl something gorgeous mm, yeah well you were doing the Koran by uh, Rebecca Klo and so I have this yarn I just bought <laughs> so I, I had to do the same thing. I can't be different, too different. Anyway, I just thought this would make a beautiful short-sleeved cardigan, and I could do some tops to go underneath it. And here, so here's my my project. And oh, and there's my <laughs> oh, right, your yeah, are. my needles. Okay, let's see. I got to find the right side for you guys. So here it is, and I think it's looking really pretty. Yeah. And I think it's going to be, a, I'm going to make this in short sleeves. So it'll go over some, a little top. Mm -hmm. And I've got some yarn to show you what I'm going to do. Yeah, that'll be really good. Yeah. That and color is so pretty. It is. It's called, okay, so it's called um, Peacock Plumage. And that is like uh, a perfect uh, descriptor. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. It absolutely looks like a peacock. Mm -hmm. But, oh man, and I'll tell you what though, this is a fun sweater to knit. It is. Because mm -hmm. I was like knitting away, knitting away, and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is, it's kind of addictive. It is, yeah. Yeah, so I can see why you would get through it so fast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's a large gauge, so. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. It is. So, but yeah. it's really fun. The only thing you have to pay attention is there is every three stitches is a perfect yeah, knit line, row right. mm -hmm. and it just you just keep following as long as you're keeping that those lines straight and everything in between it zigzags with your yarn overs you yeah. are good to go so it changes when you get to the sleeves because right now you're doing the front and the back right and when you're doing in it around round, it just has a, the second row you know where you uh -huh. do that special thing um, you still do a special thing, but it's on the front side yeah, instead of the back side. Yeah, Super yeah. easy. Yeah. Super easy. <laughs> super <laughs> yeah, easy. Super easy. But I'm, I'm excited about it. Yeah. I just, I think it's just going to be a, a fun, and I noticed in the pattern that you could do a V-neck. 
Yes. If they had, mm -hmm. she had an option to do a V-neck mm -hmm. or a round neck and I don't know, maybe I'll do a V-neck just for the fun of it. I started it on my pink one that you just saw. Mm -hmm. And I, you have to really think about what you want that pattern to look like because you can't have, you don't want just one knit stitch on the edge with the yarn over up to it. Mm -hmm. So, because you're going to be picking up stitches yeah. and that one knit stitch is going to be the stitch yeah, that you pick you up. That, yeah. So, you, if good. you're going to do that, you really want to make sure that you just stop the pattern so that it's it might be three knit stitches in a row all mm -hmm. the way up. Or you might have a yarn over a couple of stitches away, mm -hmm. you know, when it's the yeah. knit two together yarn over or the yarn over knit two together. Right. You can pull off that one, but you can't pull off the other one mm -hmm. if it puts it too close. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that so makes sense. You, totally makes sense. I did it and I wasn't thinking it through and I didn't like the way it looked. So I ripped it back and went, you know what? I loved the round neck. I'm going to do the round neck again because when you don't un when you don't button the top two buttons, mm -hmm. it kind of falls open like a V-neck mm -hmm. on me anyway. Mm -hmm. And I just decided I was going to do that. But so just mm -hmm. pay attention. And it might not show as much in that. Yeah. But I still think if you only have that one stitch before a yarn over, it is going to show. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah. Note to self, right? Note to self. <laughs> I've got that. <laughs> yeah. So do you have more whips? I do. To follow Claudia on the same <laughs> pattern, <laughs> a Corin, yeah, by Rebecca Clo. Oh. oh well, now, now there we go. So <laughs> this is a Rebecca and Hohe show. Yeah, well, yes. it's Anna uh, Andrea Mallory. I yeah. guess. <laughs> I haven't made nearly the progress that Tammy's made on hers since the last time. Oh, but it looks gorgeous. Oh, but, man. Um, let me just show you. Oh. And I have the beautiful bling mm -hmm. progress marker on there since the last time. And I also have my needle keeper. Look at that beauty. <laughs> Stitches are not falling off. This is perfect. So, I decided I'm making a size smaller than Tammy, so I don't know how this is going to work out. <laughs> well, it's drop so, shoulder, but yours might just be more well, fitted rather mm -hmm. than dropped. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be more fitted for sure. Um, so, we'll see. How but that, you want that's up a needle turn size, out. so you're doing a smaller pattern size, but you're using a one size bigger needle. And honestly, right. that gauge. was so she should get. That was so she could get. I was gauge. right on gauge. I mean, yeah, I was, was I was on for forty two inches. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it might be just a little bit bigger because it, it was the forty one and three quarters, and I know mine was a good forty two. So maybe it'll be a little bit bigger. Yeah, and it looks like I mean this is such a relaxing, wonderful pattern to mm -hmm. knit, isn't it? It is. Your gauge looks a it little is. bit bigger than mine. It looks mm -hmm. a little more open. A little than more mine open. Does. It yeah. does. Mm. I'm making. So the hopefully it'll meet. it'll work out really well. Hope it's not too big. It won't be four. because I'm doing the forty four four. Yeah. And it won't because the forty four fits very nicely. Well, if you look at this, it looks like mine is more open than yours as well. My. It's yeah. They look about the same to me. Well, I'm thinking of yours. Yeah, yours looks more open than mine. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Maybe I should have done a, used a size. And I did block <laughs> mine. I'm using a size eight, right? And you're, you're using a nine? That's what I'm Is using. That, right, right. But that's what I needed to get gauge. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. I did block mine because I was a little concerned about it. I had to see how much it would open up. So I blocked it down here before I, I started knitting more. So anyway... <laughs> It's it's looking pretty nice. Oh, it is. It's, it's just gorgeous. it's taking me a lot longer than Tammy, but <laughs> I'm working on several things. Well, well she is too. We've got, <laughs> yeah, there's a lot going on. Yeah. Okay, so I'm using the Knit Picks Gloss DK Weight, which is a combination of um, silk and merino wool non superwash. I'm hoping it's not going to pill really bad. It's a beautiful yarn. 
And so far it hasn't peeled, but I haven't worn it yet. <laughs> so once I start wearing it, we'll see what happens. And I'll keep you posted on this yarn because it is an economical yarn mm -hmm. for, you know, a really beautiful, beautiful yarn mm -hmm. and economical. It has that beautiful glossy look from the silk. Yeah. I mean, so, mine snip picks too, so... Right. Yeah. Right. And I think that capper is probably because the cashmere is going to pill a little bit. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, we have we have so, our tools. Yeah, we've maybe. got a shaver, so we're not afraid to use it. Right. We are not. <laughs> we are not afraid. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So mine's coming along. I just got to keep knitting. Yeah. Keep and knitting, kitten. I'm anxious to get mine done. Yeah. <laughs> so do you have another whip? No, not all with right. me. So it's all I, I've been working on. I guess it's my turn anyway. Alrighty, so I am doing the Sunshine Road by Drops. And I'm doing the size number three, which is a 40.9 inch. And I know that Drops patterns are a little bit controversial. Um but I had some yarn and I only had a little bit of it and I was on a search for a pattern and I found one that worked out. And so I'm using yarn that is discontinued on a controversial pattern. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all may not even want to make one, but here's the deal. So I am using Cloudborn Cotton Pima DK and here that is. Oh yeah, that's nice and crisp. And the colorway is Caribbean. So it is this beautiful blue-green. And I had knit a top before in this and ripped it out. So I've got some wonky little cotton balls that um, I feel like I need to use. But um, here's the pattern. Hmm. Here's how that's knitting up, and I really Gorgeous. am it loving stunning. it. So you'll notice that there's like a line that goes across here. I think that's just where the yarn was super wonky. I'm pretty sure that's going to block out. Easy pattern to do. Um, of course, it's bottom up, and I have a store-bought cotton turtleneck that the fit is very similar to what this one looks like it's going to be and i really every time i've worn it i think i've had that thing for like three or four years and every time i put it on i tell myself i could make the sweater i don't know why i'm buying sweaters that i yeah. can make with my own hands and enjoy wearing so here we go we'll see if this is done it'll go with us we leave in two weeks right uh, three weeks, I think it is. Oh, Almost three. Three. Okay, so today's what, 14th? Mm-hmm. 16th. Oh, it's the 16th. Ooh, Ooh. it's Tuesday, May 16th. Um, and we leave on June 2nd, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have much time. <laughs> um, I want to get the blue one done more than I want to get this one done. But if I have to work on the blue one, I can roll it up and have Rick step on it again and lay it on <laughs> something in, in the hotel or on our um, river sh cruise ship. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it'll dry. It'll be fine. And then I'll be able to wear it and it'll look like it was ironed. But anyway, I am really liking this. That's it's really pretty. It's a fun pattern. You know, it's, um, it's free, which that makes a big difference, too. And... Um, so it is just, what is that, three, one, two, three, four knits, two pearls. No, four pearls, two knits. And then this cute little pattern on the front. But I'm really liking it. Mm -hmm. So I think it'll be fine. It looks like it's tiny, but it's not. I mean, oh, this, yeah. is, this is going to, it's Strange. because of the ribbing. Right. Oh, and... Someone told us, one of our viewers, was it Pam who told us about these little needle stoppers? No, no she told someone us about else. Okay, right. someone else told us about these. They look like little dumbbells or kettlebells. 
like little kettlebells. That's the ones you use for like put rope through or string through or something. Yeah, and you just squish them down and slide them on your needles. And those, those are from Claudia. She bought some and handed them out to us at knit day yeah. last week and I'm loving them. They're perfect for this and man, they are not coming off. No, they don't, they, but they're only good for, I think a five, size five needle down. Oh, okay. Because mm -hmm. I tried it on a six and it. I bet they come bigger, you know. I yeah, I've been you looking, can, but. But yeah. boy, oh boy, they're yeah. certainly nice. There's a yes. little spring in there that holds it nice and tight up against your needle. So, mm -hmm. um, well, that's it for whips. Yeah, I don't oh. have any more. I have two more. You have two more whips? I do. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. You go, Janet. Uh -huh. You go, girl. Goodness gracious. When you get a case of cast on itis, you can do good. I do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the first one I have is the Rialto Ripples oh, yeah. by oh, yeah. Irina and Akiva. Oh my gosh. Look at the fluff. Oh, yeah. about rabbit. Oh man. Oh, wow. Yeah, I get busy on some of these other projects, and then my other oh, projects kind of sit. That is good. But I just have this on hold. I'm I'm make the that. sleeves on hold oh. on this. So here it is. That's really pretty, Janet. I love her colors. Thank that you. Is, oh, my God. I can't even. <laughs> it's, you're going to look like a royalty mm -hmm. in that. Itch. I will not get this done before we go on our... Vacation. We'll take it with you. That'd be a really good <laughs> airplane project. Yeah, because you're just knitting, knitting, true. knitting in the round, true. right? And then a little so bit of true. sleeves, but barely. Yeah. That'll be a good one. So, yeah. So, oh. the yarns I used, the first one was the alpaca, which was um, prime alpaca from Goller Yarns. This was the little tag on that and the other <coughs> yarn was the Cicero <coughs> next whip I have <laughs> oh oh my gosh <laughs> looks almost like the same same idea actually which one is it I don't have it on there <clears throat> This is called the Alberta Sunshine by Sandra Buzza. I had it on my dream knits on the last episode. <laughs> Couldn't wait. So I had to cast this on. And here it is. I need to get more adventurous with color. So, <laughs> Look at that. All the sides. <laughs> loving the colors on this. Yeah, on the yarn. That is gorgeous. <clears throat> so the yarns I'm using. Okay, let us let us fondle this while you're talking yeah, about the yeah, yarns. Really. Wow. Oh, good golly, that looks pretty together. That is, yeah. 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 Wow. I hope you could see uh, it. Yeah, that's the right side. Yeah, oh my god. On the viewfinder, okay. I'm sure. <clears throat> the lace? Mm -hmm. Oh my. Yeah, I didn't open it up like that. Oh, I should here. have opened it up. Here. Do it like so that. So you can see it. Get your fingers in there and spread that stuff out. That's gorgeous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's better. Okay. Oh, that is so pretty. So mm -hmm. the yarns I'm using are both from Expression Fiber Arts. And the main color is the Laguna. And that is the Resilient Sock yarn. And that is 100% superwash. And the second one is the Amazonite is the colorway, and it is the pearlescent fingering yarn. And it is 50% superwash and 50% mulberry silk. 
and and a hundred percent gorgeous. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> oh my gosh, the speckles so, in oh, that here is just are so, so gorgeous. Oh. Yeah, I, I mean, just, I don't even know. Do you call that speckled? I'm not even I don't sure know. what to call that because it's more than speckled. It's so here's what the ball looks like, and it, they call it Amazonite, which I am wearing a couple <laughs> Amazonite Way bracelets to on to show you how pretty those two go together. <laughs> kind of similar. Oh yeah, very nice. So. And the Lagunas, I just love the color of that. Mm -hmm. So it's blue and green. Yeah. And you can see kind of both blue and green in it. So I couldn't help but to wow. cast this beauty on. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a surprise to us. She did that since we got together last week. Actually, yeah. you st did I you think start she started. This? You might have yes. passed yeah. on the collar, but none of that gorgeousness was ready. And like, Tammy yeah. just talked about these little needle stoppers. So they I got are those awesome. on there too. I tell you what, I need some. Yeah. I got all these great needle stoppers now. Oh, I'm, very, I'm anxious very to happy. use the one from Pam. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That's really nice. No worries with losing stitches. That's great. So, yeah. Very nice. So do you have. Is that uh, that is that all is the it. whips? <laughs> <laughs> so I'll probably be taking this on our trip too yeah, to work I on. I would think. Yeah. Yeah, I have to decide. Boy, I'm gonna need a couple. <laughs> huh. You know, because if you're just knitting in the round, we can even be having cocktails. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why I took my, my the last my Cartwright because I was in a just knit, knitting in the round, and I said. I would take it down there, and we were having like little wine seminars and stuff. It's like they're just sitting there. Yeah, yeah. That's the good thing. Yeah, it is. So we all have a little bit of dream knitting, I think. Yes, I do. So do you want to go? Yeah. Sure. So this is um, Queensland, another Queensland collection. Katmandu, Aaron, one hundred in the colorway blueberry. And oh my God, <laughs> I love this yarn. But I bought this because uh, Thea Coleman has a new pattern out called Ocean Mist. And after looking at it, I said, oh, I really want to do that. <laughs> and so, uh, and it's a, uses an Aaron weight gauge is 16 and so that's I bought this specifically for that pattern so I don't get to do that, that very often gorgeous yeah <laughs> right. I always have to go into my stash but this one is a new acquisition because I wanted to for make... a brand new pattern yeah yeah exactly <laughs> my wheels are turning I saw that top I just love it it is gorgeous isn't it yeah Thea is an amazing designer she really is mm -hmm. she she does some amazing things so Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm not sure when I'll get that on the needles because I've got a couple other things that I haven't worked on lately and I didn't bring them. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah, so do you have a dream knit? I do. What you dreaming about? I'm in my stash again. <laughs> Looking at more things to cast <laughs> on. And The Miss Arena by Caitlin mm -hmm. Hunter. A good one. Uh huh. It uh, is a good one. Is yeah. I see so many people have it, including both of you, and mm -hmm. I don't have one yet. So I was in my deep stash, and I found these beautiful yarns, the Knit Picks Paragon in colorway turmeric, I think. Yes. And so. That is a gorgeous yarn. And then that's going to be for the main color. And then this is Expression Fiber Arts once again. And this is called, this is part of the Autumn Lore collection. So there was um, five skeins, I think, of this, of different colors. And this was one of them. And um, so... Oh, 
I think this will look really pretty for the color work and then this for the main body. So mm -hmm. it's oh. another one I'm all anxious to start. Mm -hmm. That will be beautiful. Now that you are a color work I genius. Know. <laughs> yes, now that. that now that I started color work, I can't stop. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> We've been trying for a long time to get her to start color work. And Told now you. she's She's in. <laughs> yeah. And you'll love the Miserina. That oh, is, yeah. It's mm. a great. It's so fun to knit. Too. Right, right. So the content, this is mostly wool. Or is it wool oh, and silk? Oh, yes. Let's see what that is. This one is 43% superwash merino, 42 fine merino, and 15 Donegal. Same so, as the... Same this as will be so, spit spliceable once yeah. again. Yeah. But you, you probably, probably won't have to. You won't with the color work. Right. I won't. But I have But that oh, Paragon is a lovely... 50 merino, fine merino, 25 baby alpaca, 25 mulberry silk. That will be good for like four seasons yeah that's beautiful <laughs> oh that'll be nice oh i pulled that out to look yes. at it don't forget that so one. wow i think it'll be really nice yeah yeah, yeah. that's gonna be and gorgeous. both of these are sport weight which is what the pattern calls for yeah so I did mine in I, leftovers of something. What you? What is your purple one? Um, Susserow. Uh, Susserow. Susserow. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Claudia did hers the too. The whole thing yes. is Susserow. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I'm lying. I didn't do mine in Susserow. I did mine in my leftovers of Pearl Soho Linen Quill. Oh, you did? Oh, that's right. Oh, right. And that's fingering weight. And I still, you can get gauged, but you know what's cool about it? It's I can wear it right now. I mean, I yeah. can wear it when it gets hotter out mm -hmm. because my gauge is a little more open. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you know what? You're going to be able to see all the cables and lace yes, with that will. gold as your background color. Mm -hmm. On mine, it's that gray. It's the same gray. Um, if you remember from our last episode, my daily pullover. Oh, right. It's the leftovers from the daily pullover, and mm. that's a really deep, dark color. And my lace and cables don't show that much. It, if we're sitting this close, you can see them, but you can't see them from across the room. But mm -hmm. you'll be able to see it in that yeah. gold. Yeah, yeah. That'll will. be really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'm... And it's nice to be able to use some of the expression fiber arts. Yeah, yeah. right. We both have right. got I've... such a huge stash of we that. Do. <laughs> it's amazing. We do. I love yarns. those yarns. Yeah, yeah. They are so beautiful. beautiful. They are beautiful. All right, so I have a dream knit, and it is the Tolstoy Tea by Rebecca Klo. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, is that the new one she yeah, just had? Yeah, that's that oh cute gosh, tea. That is so cute. She did so many things with it. She striped it. She made it plain. She used all kinds of different fibers. Uh -huh. And I have got this gorgeous Uru yarn, cotton basic. It's a knit crate yarn, so you're not going to be able to get it anymore. But some of you may actually have some of this in your stash. It's just a lovely, lovely... Um, cotton yarn and the colorway is called Hustle. It's 100% organic Pima cotton in mm. a DK weight. And then I have just a wee bit of Cloudborn Ultra Pima cotton. Is that what it's called? Let me think. Pima cotton DK in the pearl colorway. And I knit a ranunculus out of this. And then I had skeins left over, and I sold Janet two skeins, and you made a ranunculus, didn't you? I did. And so I had this bit left over, and I only have two skeins of this. Um, it's 266 yards per, so 532, 20, yeah, so, yeah. 532 yards, I guess, and it requires a little bit more than that. So my plan is to on the ribbing for the collar do a little stripe of this and on the ribbing for the sleeves a little stripe in the ribbing but do a white band across the chest of the cream color oh. and then i'll be able to finish it off i don't want a white band around my waist <laughs> 
So you're not, <laughs> you're not gonna do the striping. I'm not gonna do the whole striping. I'm just gonna do a wide band of striping. Mm. And I think that will make it a very sporty mm -hmm. kind of summertime look, yes. which will also make it go. I have a pair of linen pants that are the color of this pearl, and it'll make this hot pink mm -hmm. color. And oh, by the way, it is, it's called Hustle, and it is as <laughs> bright as it looks, and it's kind of tonal. So you can see right there how it goes light and dark. So I probably won't helical knit above the stripe but if I do the stripe right almost until I separate for the sleeves I'll helical knit the bottom mm -hmm. bits with mm -hmm. whatever's left until you know the first skein runs out um, that'll be beautiful but it's this has mm -hmm. been in my stash for so long I've got a lot of two skeins oh you know up from knit crate. Mm -hmm. I really wish they'd stayed in business. That was such a cool concept because I kept getting to try all these um, different yarns and there were some that we absolutely loved mm -hmm. and it, when I got them I could I had the opportunity to go back and buy more mm -hmm. and if it was something that came and it was really awesome these we guys <laughs> I would buy it and they would just pay me back for it and you know it, it was keeping them in so business. So they're not in business anymore No, now. they stopped. They went out of business oh, I'm gonna say six months ago. Oh that's a shame. And it's a it is a shame. It just makes you sad. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Because it was it was really a pretty cool concept. So we have to support all these yarn makers. So mm -hmm. I never feel bad about buying yarns. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, so that is my dream knitting. I think I'm I'm excited to buy that. And I know she had a discount until Sunday, and I opted to not buy it for, during the discount code. Because, you know, I sometimes I feel like it's a lot of work mm -hmm. to put those patterns together. And, you know, I mean, yeah, I'm doing a free pattern from Drops right now. But I feel like the designers kind of deserve mm -hmm. the full pay out of it sometimes. Right. So anyway, that's, that's just my thought. Um, I mean, I like a good sale, but <laughs> who doesn't? But I, you know, I don't feel bad that I waited. Yeah. I kind of feel happy mm -hmm. about it. So. Yeah, I understand that. <laughs> anyway, and we are so looking forward to meeting up. I hope we get to meet Rebecca and Amy. And who else is going to be with them? Oh, Skeins of Dreams. Yes, it'll Mega. be the Mega from Skeins of yes. Dreams. They'll all three be together. So I hope we get to find them yeah. when we're at Rhinebeck because I want to meet all of them. Oh, yeah. I'll probably fangirl over all three yeah. of them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah <they're great. laughs> they do. They're fun. Yeah. So they my all mom. have, yeah, all three different uh, different podcasts. So I'm thirsty. You guys Are thirsty? You? Or wait, yes. you have yarn? Yeah. Go ahead. Let's show your yarn. Well, and I had another dream knit. <gasps> oh, do it, do yeah. it. Yeah, so it. Um, I want to make the roll over the top by Hinterm Stein. And this is going to go with my Corin. Wow. And so this will be the, this, and then this is the Zooey, um, from Juniper Moon Farm. And I just thought this would be a really a nice little under. Oh, to wear your cardigan over, yeah. 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 You'll love yeah. the tops. Yeah, so once I get this done, then I'll start working mm -hmm. on that. Too, too many things, mm -hmm. too, too many mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. So I made that roll over the top last summer. Mm -hmm. And it is another one of those that the armpits oh. are exactly the right shape for your bra to not show. Oh, that's good. Exactly the right. I mean, it just, it's so, I hate seeing somebody's bra. Yeah. When they move their arm, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even if it, with the store bought or whatever. But because you've got the ability, you're going to be able to get that to fit just right. Great. And you'll Good. love it. And yeah. it'll be fun. Yeah, that color yeah. is hot. It's almost like this. It is. 
<laughs> Very close. And they're both hot. Yeah, yeah, they are. That's good to know that they, they're that close together. <laughs> <laughs> if I decide not to stripe it, I could just buy a skein of that to do my ripping. I mean, why not, right? Right. Exactly. <laughs> mm -hmm. So. I do have a couple yarns. I'll just go real quick. Yeah, because Janet's got a couple also. So Pearl so had a, a sale. And, and so these are linen quill and worsted weight. And this is golden green. I thought this was going to be a lot more, um, have more brown, make it more gold. Mm -hmm. And I held it up next to my grace notes and it's the exact same color. But I like the color. And this is in uh, chestnut red, um, which is really pretty. And then I hold these together and I go, oh my gosh, those look great together. Yeah, I might have do. to do color work. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So I've never seen linen quill worsted. Maybe. Yeah. Oh. I think wow. it seems yeah, it's it's soft. squishier. It's woolier. It is. Yeah. It's softer. And it says squishy. 19 to 20 stitches. So I would almost almost call it a DK, DK or light worsted. Yeah. But I it bet. only has 164 and 100 yards and 100 grams. And normally worsted is about 200 yards oh. to 100 grams or something. But anyway. Well. Wow. And apparently they don't have, they decided not to make this anymore because I was on their website. I was looking and they don't have it anymore. Oh, so when they did okay. that big 40% off sale, that's they when were you got that and yeah. they were getting rid. I mm -hmm. thought they were only doing like colors that they wanted to get access of yeah. or something. But wow. Hmm. Yeah. You know what? They've got a huge yarn line. So they do. They I do. You and it's always carry wonderful. everything. Yeah. Well, we've got another order coming, don't we? <laughs> we do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We like buying yarn. We hate paying for shipping. So we, <laughs> so we combine. We it. buy our orders together to yeah. get free shipping. Yeah. You <laughs> so, can, yeah, you have some yarn there that you haven't talked about. Do you? Okay. So with the same Pearl Soho sale that Claudia was just talking about, um, these are some discontinued colors as well in the Widgeon. And Tammy... <laughs> has been making the Lyra sweater and Tasha Hornby. No, not yeah. Tasha Hornby. And I just love that sweater and I love the yarn she's using. So I decided I'm gonna use these two for the um for the 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 color the color the color work part. The yeah. color work part. And then um, on the way is the steel gray. That'll be pretty. I'm not sure exactly what the color is, but it is a dark gray. And so Lyra's in my future. And that's for this. what the rag, the main color for the neck mm -hmm. and the raglan and the. Okay. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> so that's. Yeah, so works. I ended up. I've shown mine a few times and I have worked on it a little bit, but I haven't worked on it enough to sh really show progress. So um, I've decided that I'm going to do the fancy sleeve mm -hmm. on mine. And I keep looking, the size that I'm doing only called for one ball yardage wise of this color and the whiskey brown. And I'm getting a little nervous about, I mean, I, I feel like I don't want to play yarn chicken and I feel like that I could be playing yarn chicken if I'm not careful. So I, when Janet was placing that order, I had her go ahead and get me one more of the honeysuckle pink, which is the color she just showed. Yes, and then because... I've got a whiskey brown coming, one more in this order. And I love this so much that I have a whole nother sweaters quantity of whiskey brown to do all by itself. Mm -hmm. I love that color. It's just such a good rusty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, this since this is discontinued, it's a good thing you went ahead and got and an got extra it. one yeah, just in right. case. Yeah. Right. So, because I really do want to do the fancy sleeves, and mm -hmm. you know, as I'm knitting along, I'm watching that skein dwindle. <laughs> <You're getting laughs> and nervous. I'm getting yeah, I am getting a little nervous mm -hmm. about it. So. 
now I feel confident that I can get it done with all the colors I have and it's mm -hmm. gonna be amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm using a, the light gray background mm -hmm. and I'm not even sure what the color. Um, I forget. Ash gray? Ash? No. no. But it is a light gray. It's a light, it's right. a pale kind, of, yeah. It's mm -hmm. a pale gray. Mm -hmm. Like a slate gray? You know, something. nope, it's got a really cool name too. It's all the colors had uh, honeysuckle pink, whiskey brown, and eucalyptus gray. Uh, there and you go. That's what it is, eucalyptus yeah. gray. Yeah. yeah. It's back here. It's, you know, it's stored. Yeah. I just have to dig mm -hmm. for it. <laughs> so, um, do you have so, anything nope. else you want to show? I'm good. All right, well, I let's. Let's drink. drink. Some wine. <laughs> yeah, we're all thirsty. Our mouths are dry. Yeah, let's yes. go taste some wine. So we'll see you over at the wine table. Yeah. We're all right. <laughs> so <laughs> today's wine is the Law Sagacious 2016. And this is a GSM wine. So it is a um, variety 36% Grenache, 34% Syrah, and 39% Mavedra. And this is 100% uh, estate grown in Paso Robles. Mm. And uh, we went to this winery a couple of years ago and beautiful, beautiful winery. And uh, it was during the summer and they had these flowers that were real close. They, we sat outside and they had these flowers and the hummingbirds oh. just loved them. So you just sit there and just watch nice. the hummingbirds. Mm -hmm. It was gorgeous. I bet it was. And the wines that were awesome. Mm. Yeah, so delish. Yeah, so this wine is very similar to what we all like to have, <laughs> which is a bold, um, mm. you know, more on the tannic side and more on the dry and more acidic. Um, has some lovely um, blackberry, blueberry, plum mm -hmm. notes to it. Mm. chocolate oak mm. and tobacco and it also has some pepper licorice and cinnamon mm. you can taste yes. the licorice for sure I oh can and the, i can smell the licorice mm -hmm. the chocolate mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. it's delicious oh yeah it's very, very smooth it's very, very velvety i would <laughs> say yeah mm. yeah mm. oh that is with the berries and the mm. chocolate that is really good it's a really nice drinking wine <laughs> right now. Yes. It's been in the bottle for mm. a few years, so that makes a difference. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm. That's really good. There are some spices in there. Is it yeah. cinnamon? Or it could be cinnamon? pepper. I mean, it could be cinnamon. You know how cinnamon, there's mm. that aftertaste of mm -hmm. cinnamon. It kind of makes your mouth have the, almost a dryness to it. You're tasting the licorice, but you almost feel that. Mm. Like with cinnamon toast or mm. something that has cinnamon sprinkled on it, it almost is... Uh-huh. Mm. A little bit of spice. Yeah. It's delicious. Oh, yeah. yeah. I could just... I just tasted it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Wow. I'm not sure I get the That's cinnamon. really good. It's more I, sensational. But it's it is. Very good. Yeah. It's, after you've drank it and everything, you can just taste mm -hmm. that little... Hmm. I always Spices. thought that was, well, I don't get spice, but I do get the tannins because it's a little mm -hmm. more tannic. It is tannic. Yeah. But it's not bad. I mean, it's it's a very nice, well-balanced. It does well -balanced. Yeah, yeah. It's very well-balanced. So. Yeah, Six, 2016, this is a, a good year to be drinking it, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because that's, that's pretty spectacular. Mm-hmm. The price point on these wines tends to be $75. Just all of them. Uh, I think so. I think on these mm -hmm. um, these blends, maybe they have like audacious, sagacious. I think they have three different blends, mm -hmm. and um, they're the same price point. I don't know about their other wines, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but uh, I like a good yeah. GSM. Yeah, yeah, really, really beautiful wine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Um, have you, did you guys look at how many subscribers we have? There are yeah. almost 2,700. It's getting... 30, yeah, 2,700. 2,700. We're getting, getting close to the 3,000 mark. Mm. And there'll be another Ooh. giveaway Ooh. when we hit that. And, yeah. 
Yeah, so if away. you haven't subscribed, yeah, please, please do so. Please do, yeah. Because then there's a giveaway. Right, and we're having a pot anniversary in a couple of months, too. Oh, that's right. Pot anniversary. Pot anniversary. It'll be our one year pot anniversary. One year. Oh, yes. oh you In got July. It. Yeah. In July, yes. Was it July? It yes. Is. Yeah. Wow. So, I can't believe we've been podcasting for, for almost, that, a year. almost a year. Yeah, that's amazing. Know, right? I think we've all grown in our knitting quite a bit in that past year. Yeah. It's just, yeah. It's interesting. It's interesting because. We learn because we feel like we have to be able to speak about our what we're doing. Yeah, so we have to pay more attention. And right, maybe. you do. You pay more attention to what you're doing. Pay yeah. more attention to get the details really just so. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to show it, yeah. <laughs> if we're going to show it to all of our friends, it has to be <laughs> it has to be good. But. But I would not have a problem showing something that didn't turn out. Oh heck no! No, no. Yeah. That's why I, mean, I said that's that's part of the whole. Why thing. may wear my weekender next time just to be able to show what not to do? Because I had no <laughs> idea. I mean yeah. seriously, I think that Juniper Moon Farm Zooey is fabulous yarn, and I don't think I've ever heard anybody talk about it twisting, biasing oh, like biasing, mine did. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I, I'm positive it's the way that the yarn came off the cone and oh, wrapped around linen. the linen came off of the cone wrapping mm -hmm. around that beautiful yarn. Mm -hmm. And it, I never gave it a thought, so. Mm. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. We we show some good, some bad, some ugly. Mostly good. <laughs> Mostly good. <laughs> but we do talk about Mostly. the ugly sometimes. Yeah. We all have that sometimes. Right, so. right. So we finally... Um, we have a, a really wonderful friend, Reka, who did redid our logo, and um, we're waiting on business cards, but she provided a logo, a wool and wine logo for us, and I had it printed from someone on Etsy, who I will link in the show notes. Um, I should have brought it to show you this time, but it's labels for our project bags. So we were really excited to get those yeah. so we mm -hmm. can sew them on the outside of the project bags and they're not just like generic bags that you're all getting. <laughs> I know, I'm tempted to stick one in an envelope and mail them out to the people who we've already sent project bags to who didn't get one just to, and maybe you can hand stitch one on yeah, it because I'm sure I've got yeah. <laughs> I'm sure I saved the uh the emails with your addresses I I may do that honestly so watch your watch your mail for just an envelope with a a little um fabric label in it but yeah mm -hmm. we want to start sewing them on and having it available and it's a cool logo. It is. It's very mm -hmm. cute. And I really think we're going to want to sew them onto our bags. Our bags yeah. as well. Yeah, definitely. Yes. Yeah. Definitely yeah. on ours. It's really nice. Yeah. yeah. So, Reka, you're amazing. I hope yes, you are. are. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. So, I guess, are we done? I think so. Okay, then. If, if you can't, can't be, be the with the wine you love, love the wine you're with. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Happy knitting. Mm. That is so good. Mm-hmm.